What is up guys, Bass and Coffee here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to fish a Senko. Now, what is a Senko? A Senko is referred to as a stick bait. It's literally a do nothing bait. The action of the Senko is like freaking mesmerizing, dude. It can, it attracts fish from all the world, dude. Here's a clip of a underwater Senko action. Senko can be fished many ways. It can be fished wacky rig style, um, Texas rig. You can even fish it weightless, which I prefer. Uh, basically, you can either put a weight on it or use it on just a regular hook. The hooks I like to use are a EWG for weightless uh, Texas rig style. For wacky rig, I like to use a one-aught Gamakatsu circle hook. What I like to throw a Senko on is a nice ultralight rod with a fast action. Just like this uh, PC Fun Serpent Rod. Not out yet, but soon it'll be out. And uh, I like to pair it off with a 1000 size reel. By the way guys, this is the Honor XT by PC Fun. Brand new reel just came out. It is the, uh, I think they go all the way up to a 5000 or 6000 series. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, this one's a 5.2 to 1 gear ratio. There's another one that's 6.2 to 1 gear ratio. But I like this one on this ultra light rod. I actually weighed this last night and it weighs like 10 ounces. This whole setup is 10 ounces, including the line that's on it. I like to use a six pound fluorocarbon line. There's not much big fish around here. All I can catch is little small fish, but hey, a fish is a fish, right? It doesn't matter what size the fish are, how much fish you catch, it's about enjoying the outdoors that's what fishing is all about a little bit about the specs of this reel i have the thousand series so i'm going to be doing the specs on this if you want to check out the rest of the specs on the other sizes link down below you can check them out right there the pc fun honor xt in the thousand model has a gear ratio of 5.2 to 1 gear ratio has 10 plus 1 ball bearings and the max drag is 8.8 .8 pounds now when you jump up to the 2000 series, the max drag is 22 pounds. That's a big difference. But I like catching these smaller fish in these smaller creeks and ponds with the ultra light. Makes the fishing more fun. The weight of this reel is 6.17 ounces. And the line retrieve is 22.4 inches per turn. And you can stick 110 yards of 10 pound braid on here. All right guys, that's just the basics of this reel. Pretty good reel so far. Been enjoying it for the past month or so. Putting it on this rod just makes a huge of a difference for this ultra light rod. I'm gonna show you some fish catches on this rod and reel. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Oh God, dude, I got him. Oh dude, it's a big one. No, it's a small one, Never mind. On the Senko, boys, let's go. On the Run CL. Senko, this little bait with the Honor XT and the Serpent Rod. Nice little, little baby. Get the release on it. Catch another one of these. I was literally just checking the action of this worm and I didn't even see the fish come up and grab it. I was like, where'd my bait go, dude? But, uh, I just tied this on too. Let me show you what bait I'm using. It's the Runsoul Anchor Box. It's got a bunch of different color Senko style worms in it. I like to go with this in clear water. Sometimes in bluish tint water too. This is bluish tint right now. And this pond is public to anybody who wants to fish. It's not a private pond, so it's definitely been fished a lot. There we go. All I do is hook it through the middle of the worm. You can just bend it in the middle and then put it right there. This is a one aught gamakatsu hook. Got him, dude. There's one. Let's go on the Senko. On the Senko, boys. Runzel Senko style. Boom. 
this reel is handing it to him. Let's see if we can catch another one on this Senko. Got him, dude. Another one. Another one. Yes. Senko is killing it. There we go. Third Senko fish. Literally just hit the water. I'm telling you guys. Best summer bait of the year. Hands down, the Senko. Going to switch things up a little bit. Sun's pretty pretty uh, intense. So I think the fish are going to be deeper. So I'm going to tie on maybe a trick worm. This is a Runzo trick worm. I'm going to tie on a green pumpkin. See if we can get a fish on a trick worm in deeper water. Got him, dude. Got him. Another one. In the deep now. Oh, he came off, dude. He's right there. That came off the Runzel trick worm with a shaky head. Got him, dude. Let's go. Literally a do-nothing bait. All I did was cast it under that tree and let it do its magic. It like shimmies. That's what it is. Dang, that's a good looking fish. These fish are so clean. But if you want to catch a bunch of fish, this is the way to go. All you want to do is cast it into an opening and just let it drop. You can give it a shake on the rod tip just to give it more action. But uh, basically, it just does all the work for you. It's basically like fishing a live bait. You just cast and let it sink. All right, guys, that's it. That is how you fish the Senko. Very simple, very effective way to catch bass. You can also catch bluegills, catfish. You can catch anything that bites with this rig. The one I used today was a five inch Senko style bait by Runzel. And uh, you don't have to use that bait. You can go down to a three inch, four inch. Heck, I use the handy dandy pink worm all the time. It's basically a racky rig. You just use a smaller hook to catch bluegills and uh, some good sized bass. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please check out the links down below. You can check out the Honor XT. I think it's around $50, $55, around that price point. Very affordable reel. If you guys want to know more tips and tricks on how to fish different techniques let me know in the comments below thank you guys hope you guys subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys next time on bass and coffee let's go